The year is 1886, and the legendary Apache warrior known to the world as Geronimo has laid down his arms for the last time. The Mexican government could not stop Geronimo from crossing the border and raiding into Mexico, so they asked the United States military to step in and help put him down. And that's what uh, the generals did, decided to go across border back and forth chasing him until they captured him. He captured him actually three times before he was taken in for the final time. Geronimo was brought to Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas. It was beneath this very clock tower where his fate was decided. U.S. military forces brought him here to decide, do we're going to turn him over or are we going to keep him as a prisoner of war? Keeping him as a prisoner of war saved him from the gallows in Arizona, but it put him in as a permanent prisoner till the day he died. War between the native people and the U.S. military soon came to a close. The capture of Geronimo ended a chapter in American military history by stopping the wars in the southwest area. Afterwards, the uh, American Indians and the United States military's relationship started to strengthen as more Native Americans joined the United States military. The tale of contention between Texas settlers and its native people ended here in San Antonio. But Military City USA has a long history with the area's tribes. People were afraid to tell their culture. And now you're starting to see a resurgence. There is different groups here in the city that are trying to bring back Native American culture. Many members of Native tribes have become proud examples of the U.S. military's spirit of service and warrior ethos. From their start of scouts in the combat fields to General Eli Parker on General Grant's personal staff during the Civil War to Choctaw co-talkers during World War I, it further expanded into co-talkers during World War II. There are more American Indians now in the United States military per capita than any other ethnic group. Even today, we still apply native tactics in battle, and we've named most of our combat equipment after the tribes who are former foes. For generations, American Indians and Alaska Natives have served and defended our nation, and we invite all to recognize and learn more about the contributions they have made. Join us in celebrating respect, culture, and education.